Welcome to Latin Nation, celebrating your generation from coast to coast. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. And one thing that we have to do as Latinos in this country is mentor and help discover the next in line. It's what happened with our first story. Selvina Moreno is an Argentinian singer-songwriter, a Berkeley College of Music alumni, and an artist who launched her career with an independent release that garnered rave reviews. But more importantly, it caught the ear of Visitante from Calle 13, who after listening to Salvina, knew that she was the protege that he was looking for. He signed on to produce her third album, Sofa, and then Visitante took her music to a higher level. And today, Salvina is touring the world with a growing catalog of songs that are full of energy and love, and you get to enjoy it right here on Latin Nation. Sessions is presented by McDonald's. Hi, my name is Silvina Moreno. I'm a singer-songwriter from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I remember I went to Berkeley, that's where, where I studied music, and John Mayer came and gave a clinic and he said, I wanted to be the best guitar player. But when I start writing songs and singing and telling stories, then I realized, wow, there's something much bigger here that really, really moves me and that moves other people more than just being good at guitar. And I felt completely uh, related to that. So when I start writing my own music, there was no turning point for me. My third album is called Sofa. It's the first album I produced with Sony Music and I did it with Eduardo Cabra, a Visitante from Calle 13. And it's the most eclectic work I've done so far. First of all, there was a lot of uh, respect for his work and he, he creates this trust that's quite quick. And, and I felt that. And there has to be a connection with your producer, whoever it is, you have to feel like you can trust them. That needs to happen, I think, before the music. So that happened and I felt, okay, there's something here. And then what made it perfect for me is that he said, first conversation we had, he said, this is your album, it's not mine. It's gonna have your face in it, your name in it. And once it's done, I'm going away and I, I won't see you for a while probably. And that's true because I'm the one who has to defend every decision that is being made. And that happens with any artist. You're the one who defends every chord, every lyric, every arrangement, everything when you, when you talk about your album, when you play it live. And when he said that, he, he showed that he understood that the artist needs to be respected in his message and what they're trying to do. So he made me feel completely comfortable. I was like, do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm trying to um, perform this album live eh, as closest as I can to the recording and I, I didn't do that with my previous albums but now I, I got really enthusiastic about eh, having tracks to accompany all the synthesizers with the band and, and I'm learning to be a bit more um, tidy with my performing. I used to be all over the place. <laughs> And I think Eduardo Cabra helped me with that because he's really good with live performance and he told me, you know, you need to focus, not be all over the place, just channel that energy that you have that's very strong, but be tidy about it, you know? Don't let the performer get in the way of the songwriter. That's such a big struggle for anyone who sings, who performs and writes. Well, I recently went into my inbox and I saw this message from a girl who lives in this tiny little town in Buenos Aires and she's 16 and she wrote, I showed this message to my mom, she wrote that she was, she'd been quite depressed and she'd considered suicide a couple of times and that struck me because she said that my music really lifted her and helped her heal being able to see what it can do and what I can do if I keep doing it, healing people and helping people like this girl who's still alive and who's still around, you know, and that really moved me. And, and it's a tiny thing, but it's huge for me. It really is. Mm -hmm. 